This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's really good, my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape News coverage video. So today we're going to be talking about the new dev blog regarding the mining and smithing rework that Jagex just put out. So go check it out for yourself. I'll have the link to that video in the description. So you can go check it out right there if you want. But we're going to quickly just go over what they talked about and some interesting things I think worth noting. The first thing they want to emphasize is that smithing is going to still feel very familiar to exactly what it is right now. There are going to be a lot of tweaks to it, but the core essence of it should not feel foreign so basically you're still going to be getting your ores turning them into bars and then turning them bars into products so that is the core essence of what we have right now that will not change do not worry but the way and the speed at which you create things is what they're looking at to change now they're giving us three possible options that they could take three approaches and they're asking us what we think would be the best approach now the first approach is going to be something akin to fletching where you use your smithing skill to complete different components and then add those components together to create the final product for example you could be creating a, a blade and and then you want to smith a hilt and you'll be combining those two so that is the fletching approach the second approach that they want to take is more of a herb lore style approach where you take one product and you add things to it to increase it refine it and make it a much better product in the end for example for herb lore you take a vial add water then you add a herb then you add a secondary or tertiary item to create the final potion so that's exactly how they think approach two is going to work you smith something of a low grade or an unusable untradeable version of it and then you add to it perhaps with more ore or some other thing to increase it make it better move on to the next stage of production and then maybe finally a third or fourth stage to finally complete the product to make it usable and tradable or at least just usable so that's the second herb lore style approach which is not too bad i like it to be quite honest and the third and final approach is where they kind of just slow down the production of smithing altogether now this is the most boring of the three but the most afk so i can see a toss-up of it depends on how engaging you really want your smithing i don't mind either way all these approaches sound pretty much fine to me so i'm not really uh leaning towards any type of way maybe herb lore the most but i'll be perfectly fine with the other two so this third one is a slower approach where they just slow down the production of making smithing products now you're still going to be getting xp while you're making these products but the way it currently works is you get xp based on product made they don't necessarily have to follow that mold in fact they want to break that mold so maybe you're getting xp as you're working towards completing a product and then maybe you get a chunk of xp while finishing the product so that's the approach that they want to do with three not too bad but like i said much more afk much less engaging and that's exactly what they want to do there either way you can hop in that video like i said the link to that video will be down in the description below so you can go check it out leave your comments decide which of the three paths you think is most suitable and most viable like i said i don't feel any particular type of way they're all fine but herb lore approach seems to be my personal favorite of the three but yeah it's pretty interesting stuff if you want more detail like i said the video does more justice i just wanted to present the information give you what i personally think about it but much more detail in that video so go check it out doggies but that wraps it up for this video if you like hit that like button and if you're not subscribed yet you want to be up to date on all news regarding runescape then you want to hit that subscribe button and i'll keep you up to date i promise my doggies anyways Thanks for watching. I am out. Peace.